Okay, we are recording, my man. So, uh, so tell me, tell me, like, uh, what's going on with you? What's, what are some of your interests? Uh, well, mostly uh, gaming, uh, model making. I got one right here. Oh, cool. It's model out of a game. Oh, what is that like? A, is that like a ship from like? Star Wars or Star Trek or something? Have you heard of Elite Dangerous? Elite Dangerous. So, uh, the series is about 30 years old. Uh, this ship in particular, its first iteration is the oldest uh, computer-generated 3D model. <laughs> oh, wow. So like, how did you, how did you It was the first that? 3D game, like proper. I used a program called uh, SketchUp, hmm. uh, built it in model and then laid all the surfaces flat. Uh, then uh, printed it one-to-one -one and uh, cut it out of Bristol board. Is that like 3D printing? Is that what that is? No. Uh, 3D printing is uh, like plastic injection, oh. kind of like a hot glue gun, but really small and fine. Uh, I just mean printing onto cardstock in a regular printer. Oh, wow. Wow, interesting. So, wow, this is, that's fascinating. So like, uh, what got you into that, into model making? Uh, I... I can't really say at this point. Uh, <laughs> it's been so long. So, like, uh, like, um, did, is that something that you kind of like did with your family and everything? Uh, it's been mostly a uh, self-interest. Cool. Interesting. What uh, uh, are you in school right now? Or are you like in college or high school? I am absolutely. I'm so bad with ages. Uh, out of college, working. Okay. And how is that going with COVID and the craziness that is 2020? Uh, my industry has been unaffected. Really? Uh, yeah, it's uh, construction, uh, working on uh, infrastructure. Uh, that, that stuff cannot be put on hold. Sounds like you found a... Uh a pretty cool, like foolproof kind of like work situation in this, in this time. Well, that circumstance was accidental. I had this job before COVID was even a thought. Yeah. That's great. And, uh, so, uh, at least, uh, I want to make sure that I'm using the correct pronouns with you. Do you prefer he, he, his, or are you, she, her, or, or they, them? I don't really know at this point. Cool, interesting. Yeah, the uh, the so like your would you consider yourself like in a gender fluid state right now? No, uh, more more undecided. Like I gotta get I gotta get my stuff together. Like <laughs> actually, yeah. Yeah. Well, would. Do you feel comfortable talking a little more about that? Because I, th I think there are a lot of people that I've talked to on here who who are very interested in gender fluidity and um, and just, you know, now that it's kind of, now that our culture is a little more accepting of it, um, these conversations are starting to become a little more mainstream, which is interesting and, and, and cool, you know, helpful. And um, what has been your experience with all of this? Uh, I find going out in the world and expressing this side of me is something I cannot see myself doing, not, not in the current climate. And it's not so much, I don't see exactly what's described more mainstream as hatred on the right, for example. Um, uh, I feel like I feel like one side is kind of using people like me and then the other side is ignoring. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. In 
interesting, right? One is using it as kind of like a political foothold or is right kind of kind of thing. Interesting. So like in terms of like yeah, not not to get you canceled on your first episode or anything. Oh my I actually, god. I don't know how long you've done oh my it. My god. No, I no, this is no, this is. I've been <laughs> I haven't I haven't been doing this long, but I think actually like in fact my channel is very much about talk talking about having like difficult conversations freedom of speech and that everyone comes from a different perspective um and that the thing that's really important is that we sit and we listen to understand each other not listen to react and to try to prove each other wrong you know um so for mm -hmm. you in, in your journey of understanding identity and and your you know your gender um and maybe sexuality too. I, I'm not sure. Um, like, where did where do you think this all began? Did this begin kind of when you were younger, or has it been more recent development? Uh, as far back as I can, as far back as I can think, in one way or another. Was there an event that kind of? That you remember that that kind of made made you start wondering more about this more deeply. Um, maybe not wondering more about it, but uh, finishing high school, having to start driving to college, uh, I suddenly found myself with a lot of. Uh, It was very easy to have uh, certain parts of my time be unaccounted for. So I was able to explore by taking an extra 15 minutes on the commute home and buying things to try and that sort of thing. Wow, that's that's so that's so exciting though, right? Like for you, like how, is that how you were kind of thinking about it? Like, wow, this is like an exciting part of or like, how are you feeling when you were, when you're going and buying these things for the first time? Uh, terrified in the moment. Uh, I've backed out many times and relieved when it's over, uh, especially when I actually succeed. Wow. Well, this is that's exciting. It's exciting to talk to you and to hear your hear your your journey. You're about mm -hmm. kind of your steps in your journey and everything. It's I, I I tend to think that, you know, I I tend to lean a little more liberally, I guess. Um but it seems like in our culture today, there is a lot of I think conversations about gender identity and sexual sexual fluidity is is really important but i feel like i'm kind of disgusted by how by how we make it a situation where it's like if you don't call me by this certain thing like i'm going to shun you or i'm going to cancel you like you don't deserve an opinion you know and um you know it's a very vulnerable thing i think and um I don't know. I, I, I just wonder about this culture being a, being one that is conducive for kind of just having meaningful conversations with people. Do, do you kind of have a similar feeling about that? Or what, what are your feelings about the whole, the whole culture? I, I, I would say my feelings are similar. I'm personally a lot, a lot more right leaning and I have been since 2016. Um, or well, almost 2017, mm -hmm. really it, uh, I found it wasn't the election that influenced, uh, my thoughts at all, but more, uh, actually, you know, the, the scandal with, uh, Jordan Peterson, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, that first one about, uh, that, that first one where he was being protested outside of uh, U of T, outside of uh, the building where he worked. 
Um, and when uh, all that if all that uh, stuff aired on TVO, I uh, I really uh, agreed with the message of whatever whatever identity or however you want to be treated, that is a one-on-one -on -one interaction. It's incredibly personal. And I think if it's a matter of respect, it has to be one-on-one -on -one. and it can't, it can't be shoved down by the government because that no matter what the intention is, it's going to breed resent. Not to mention levels of control that the government shouldn't have. I'm totally with you, man. What, uh, what, what can I call you? What would you like your code name to be? Or what is your name that I can use for, for the video? Oh, now I'm on the spot. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I have all the questions. No, that's okay. Like you can, you can use, uh, um, you don't have to use your name. You can use whatever name, whatever thing you'd like. I could call you Elite Dangerous. Actually, is there any chance you could blur my face at all? Well, actually, it's it's uh, actually the okay. video the video is kind of blurry right now, so I think you'll be okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Would you like me to call you Elite Dangerous on the um, on the thing? I think that'd be pretty badass. <laughs> Or, I don't know, Edie for short. Edie? Okay. Like or just ED. I see. Elite yeah, less enough for it. Okay, great. Well, um, I guess I'm interested, um, yeah. uh, too, like, in what your, what your thoughts of, like, this whole, I don't know, like, thing it with the election and politics and social media and all this craziness like i'd love to hear you kind of your kind of opinions on what you think of our culture today in the united states I, i'm guessing you're either in the united states or canada oh, canada um so i i should say first and foremost just as a canadian I have no say, no one should ever take my word for it, and I have no business meddling in American politics, just like Americans have no business meddling in Canadian politics. But I can't help but watch all <laughs> kinds of news about it, all kinds of, uh, all kinds of uh, podcasts and everything. Um, I think they're going to have a big problem with mail-in ballots, the way it's set up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's going to lead to a lot of un uncertainty and it just doesn't make sense to change the rules especially when everyone knows which side of the aisle is ch changing the rules mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you think uh, what, what are your thoughts uh, of oh I'm sorry go for it Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, it, it's something because I, I, I talk about this with like friends and family. I think there's a, really two groups of people in the United States. There's the people who are told information and there are the people who look for information. And I think the people who look for information are going to vote right, um, right wing at least this time around. Um, I, I just don't know if they're outnumbered or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm interested in, in your thoughts too of, of social media 
Uh, to what extent do you think social media is a helpful tool and in what way do you think it's a negative influence, if at all? Uh, well, I mean, we're not designed to use it. It's designed to use us, right? It, uh, it, it's something we, we've never seen anything like it before. Um, and I'm probably sounding like every commentator on it ever, but, um, I don't think, uh, I don't think the platforms themselves are the problem. I think it, it's how they're managed. Um, I, I understand the, the side of the, uh, the management versus the users of, on the one hand, there's a problem with false information being spread, but on the other hand, who decides what's false? Mm -hmm. how, how, do you, how do you navigate that on social media, if you have social media? I, I, I don't have social media, so I'm, I, I, I've never had Facebook, uh, never had Twitter, none of that. Uh, I simply seek out content on places like uh, YouTube, actually YouTube uh, almost exclusively. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a matter of uh, digging and trying to find the source of the information. I'd rather watch three hours of what actually happened than five minutes of what's said about it. Is there, um, I'm always trying to find new kind of sources of news or resources uh, to, to be able to understand things better from different perspectives. Do you have a, a news source or a YouTube channel that you would recommend that you like to watch? I bounce around through a lot of things. So uh, right, off, right off the top, uh, my favorite podcast is uh, Ted Cruz's podcast, Verdict. Mm. Uh, then a lot of Daily Wire content and Tim Pool, uh, Joe Rogan, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, um, so usually kind of like towards the end of my conversations with people, I, I write up like these kind of like pre-written questions. I have a lot of them, but I only ask three. Um, would you be interested in doing these kind of pre-written questions? Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Cool. So pick three numbers between 1 and 45, and I'll ask you those, these, those uh, yeah, corresponding sure. questions. Uh, 11, 23, uh, 35. Okay. 23 and seven are the most, uh, common, commonly chosen numbers. It's so interesting. I have no idea why. Seven and 23. Okay. Number 11. It's oh. actually the number I picked first. And then once I picked 11, I went 12 down, 12 up. Oh, Interesting. Interesting. Um, okay. All right. So number 11. I don't think anyone has chosen this number, actually. I don't think anyone has chosen 11. And I've done a few interviews. Um, okay. What do you think is oh, your boy. biggest... <laughs> what do you think is your biggest obstacle? Uh Planning my future. Sorry, you, you kind of went out there. Did you say planning your future? Oh. 
Well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you kind of elaborate on that? What about? Why is that difficult? Um, what I have right now is essentially a double life. And I have different things happening in my life that are each pulling me in two different directions. And eventually I will have to pick one. For you, what do you think right now, where are you leaning in terms in terms of how you how you choose what you want to do in the future? <sighs> Big questions, I See, know. That, I know. Even <laughs> Big that questions. is hard to yeah. uh, determine. Yeah. On the one hand is my livelihood and being in a in the profession that I've studied for and worked for and enjoy. And on the other hand is how I see myself uh, as a person. And I, I can't pick. Mm. Wow. Fascinating. I can't, uh, Edie, I can't wait to read your book. <laughs> All right. Number 23. I don't have time to write. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Number 23. What are you looking forward to next? Getting the current project that I'm working on off my plate. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about this project? Because, uh, I'm kind of swamped at work right now. Uh, it, I'll try and give uh, away as few uh, identifying details as possible. It, it's a huge infrastructure project. It's the next five years of my life worth of work. And right now they're working at an accelerated uh, pace where they're doing probably two years of work in the next six months. Uh, and I have to keep up with all of it. Oh, no. Uh, late nights. OK, let's see here. Uh, not yet, but soon. <laughs> OK, all right, 35. All right, last question. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, philosophically or literally? <laughs> Interesting. Um, I guess I'm interested in hearing your answers to both. <laughs> okay. Um, literally waking up at 5.30, driving to work for uh, usually 7.30. Hold, hold on one second, Edie. Yeah, come on in. Working all day until 4.30. It's, it is glitchy, yeah. Um, yeah but, my, it, I, but it's still connected. Yeah, yeah, that's what's going on for me, too. It's okay. just, like, really... So, I, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you. So okay, yeah, I think, I think we're fine. We're okay, okay for now. Sorry, my roommate is having an issue with his Wi-Fi as well, so... Um, it's not, it's not you, it's me. Oh. Um, but, uh, sorry. Yeah. So you're getting up at yeah. five. Uh, no, it's a bit me. <laughs> it is definitely a bit me. <laughs> uh, working seven thirty to four thirty. And then what about after four thirty? You're going to go. I'll probably be back at this after. Oh, okay. Cool. And so that was literally, and now philosophically. Uh, working a day at a time, uh, seeing which, uh, which direction life pulls me. 
Very cool. Very cool. I, I don't know if you think about yourself as, as cool, but I think you're pretty, I think you're pretty awesome. Um, if that means anything, the guy on Omegle. Oh, I'm pretty yeah. self-absorbed. I think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very fun. Um, okay. Well, and so, so it's, um, before we get going, um, would you like to say one last, um, thought or piece of advice to people out there watching? Um, don't put things off like I do. You'll be better off. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Edie. Um, yeah. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be posting this video. Oh, you're... oh, oh, you there? I'm gonna I'm gonna post this video immediately. Um, oh. Yep, I'm right here. And um, if you want to, make sure to subscribe right. to. Could you edit? Oh, like I'm concerned about my. Uh... I'm sorry. Go for it. Could you say that again? I, I'm always concerned about being outed in one way or another. If if my face is at all identifiable, could you blur it, please? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I mean, it it seems pretty blurry I, I, right now. I worry about this stuff. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. As you know, yeah, absolutely. I I I don't know how to blur out your face, um, but I'll tell you, my Wi-Fi has been pretty. I mean, pretty bad. Um, but I mean, it, you're. You're pretty, you're pretty blurry as well. So like, I know my face is taking up a much smaller part of the frame than yours is. So maybe I'm good. Do you feel, do you feel comfortable with me posting it as is? Cause I would tell you if I feel like you would, you're, you're easily seen. Yeah, go for it. Cool. Okay. So make sure to thank you so much again, um, and I'm and uh, make sure to subscribe uh, so that you can see the video. Oh, and welcome. and if anything, if you if you see the video and it looks uh, you're worried about it, let me know via my email. I'll send you my email here. And I can take it down if it's an issue. That won't be a problem at all. Okay. Okay. Well, I think YouTube Studio lets you uh, put things over top, like do overlays after the fact. So if you don't want to lose the content, I'll, I'll let you know if I have concerns and yeah, I can, I can edit I'll, it I'll, from there. Great. Yeah. Anything to let you still have uh, what you worked for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, I, man. Scrapping the video should be far down the line of last resort. Right. Well, at like, my my priority is having a story that the person who's telling it you know if they want it told in the way that it's being told so uh so for you for me my priority is you and your story you know so that that's that's priority number one mm -hmm. okay all righty so i'll see you later and right. uh and good luck out there, okay? All right. Maybe we'll run into each other again. Yeah, probably. Not a lot right? of people on pizza that I've seen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We both like pizza. I love that. I love that. That's so funny. Of all the things for us to bring us together, it's pizza. I fucking love that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you, man. All right, see it.